Hey friends. So, uh, this is a bit of a love letter to my mom. So I gave my mother Reiki this weekend and the whole time I was giving her Reiki, I was, um, super struck by how little she is. Everything about her is tiny. Her fingers are tiny. Her, her fingernails are tiny. Her toes are tiny. She's little. And, uh, the whole time I was giving her Reiki, I kept thinking about this poem that I love so much. And every time I think of this poem, I think of my mother. And every time I think of my mother, I think of this poem. This is like a love letter to my mom. So I'm going to read you the poem. It's by E.E. E. Cummings. And as many of you maybe know, he rarely, if ever, titled his poems. So they're incredibly uh, difficult to find what you're looking for. You have to use first lines. And for lucky me, um, I have his entire collected poems from 19... 22 to 1938 which is not all of them but it's a pretty good collection uh and you would think it would have an index because he doesn't have titles but alas you would be wrong so it took quite a while to find this it was the 225th poem in my book but anyway it's beautiful so this is your poetry moment somewhere i have never traveled gladly beyond any experience your eyes have their silence in your most frail gesture are things which enclose me, or which I cannot touch because they are too near. Your slightest look easily will unclose me, though I have closed myself as fingers. You open always, petal by petal, myself as spring opens, touching skillfully, mysteriously, her first rose. Or if your wish be to close me, I and my life will shut very beautifully, suddenly, as when the heart of this flower imagines the snow carefully everywhere descending. Nothing which we are to perceive in this world equals the power of your intense fragility, whose texture compels me with the color of its countries, rendering death and forever with each breathing. I do not know what it is about you, that closes and opens, something in me understands. The voice of your eyes is deeper than all roses. Nobody, not even the rain, has such small hands. <laughs>